other schools that says that it's like a baby. The first time he has to fall, the second time he has to fall, and then he will be able to make it to walk. So I don't want to fall, actually. What do you think is the answer for it? What do you think? Uh, I think, as you think, just it is uh, preparing yourself, being ready from inside, uh, making your business plan, and then start. So this will decrease your uh, possibility. What do you think? What do you think? Well, personally, I think persistent is how much do you believe in yourself. If you really want to succeed, you could succeed. First time. No, there is no first time. What happened to Sabha? Tahat. Okay, now you are thinking you're going to get the masbah. What happened? Gotcha. Why? It's prepared. Because I was prepared. You are ready. Yes. And you have to be ready mentally. First, you have to be ready mentally. You try once, twice, three times, four times. And you succeed. So, if you really want that business, and if you really want that, you will achieve it. First time. Nothing, nothing called. There is a rule of thumb called 10,000 hours work. There is no such thing called first time. If you really want to succeed the first time, you really don't want to succeed. Because the first time, it's your first trial. Second time is your second trial. There is no such thing called the first time. Yes, you might succeed the first time. في مثل عند ال ال أهل البحار دائما يقول لك المد يشيل اللحم. So if your ship is sunk and old and rotten, إلى جل مد رفعها فوق. So whenever you want to do business, if anybody want to do business with me now, the first thing I ask him, did you ever go bankrupt? How close were you to the bankruptcy? Were you in the bad times or in the good times? So قلسهم. You know a lot of your friends. How many of them have a lot of monies in their bank account? A lot. What happened to them now? That's so. That's the answer to your first first trial. Never expected things to work out the first time. Never. Not the first time. Not the second time. Not the third times. You fail ten times. Number eleven, you make it. So you didn't fail ten times. You have tried. Ten times. Anybody who come tell you, I succeed, I did this, I did this, I did this. One out of two. It's either he just, just lucky, 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 completely lucky, or he's lying. So lucky is out of skill, lying out of skill. Look at the people who really have worked very hard, who really have made it. They didn't make it out of the just because they said the first time. And it's bad for you if you succeed the first time. If you notice, there is a lot of people, they enter a market, they make a lot of money, they take back their money, put it back again into the business, and then when things goes bad, what they do? They go completely bankrupt. I'll share with you a secret. I'm not going to give you an ornate. One guy that I know very well, we used to give him charity for Ramadan. Maqad Ramadan kena natiya. Years pass, stocks came. He started to borrow a lot of money, and he started to play with one billion riyals bank accounts. One day I came to him and I said, "I really beg you. I need to borrow from you ten million riyals." He said, "Turkey, I know your system. At forty." You borrow 10%. At 50, 0%. So when you became at age 50, you don't borrow any money. So why you want to borrow my money? I said, I'll take your money, I'll put it in some kind of an investment, and I'll tear up the paper in, ca in case something goes wrong to you. He told me, 10 million, what are you talking about? You're joking. Come on, 10 million. Where's she having? I got Anyway, bottom line, he refused to give me the 10 million rails. Stock went down. A year ago, 
Again, he's, he, he, he came for Mughal and Allah. And he, you know, he said every time, he was crying in front of me. He said, with all the money I lost, the only thing I remember is that 10 million riyals you have borrowed from me. And I know you will not give it to me unless I'm really in deep trouble, and that's when you could give it to me. I swear to you now, he's going back into the gather of Allah. So what's the story? The story is, have your plans. Even if things go so well, beyond your expectation, get back again to your goals, get back, because if things go too well, that's bad. If things go too bad, that's bad. So if things go well, so be careful. So you might be smart, but you might be very everything, but you know, if you are way, way ahead of the market, there is something wrong. Any other question? Yes, sir. Well, you have to understand, the age I come from, nobody help each other. Uh, have you ever fed bitches? Get what killed Hamam? Try it one time. If you have a lot of, a lot of uh, seed, and you throw it at the pigeons, very few pigeons will eat, and there's a lot of pigeons will fight each other. And the Saudis, because it's an opportunity, and it's a basically a, a trickle economy, it's all coming from the governments, basically. And uh, people don't work with each other. So people were grabbing each other and fighting each other. And nobody cared about each other. They just bited it. You know, this time is construction. Wow, go, 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 don't, don't, don't. Construction. Oh, construction is bad. It's all went bankrupt. Okay, bang. What's the, what's the story? What's the, what's the gimmick now? Oh, agriculture. Oh, yalla, do, do, do. Go agriculture, agriculture. Then what happened to agriculture? Boss, oh, Trakesh. They all die. Let them go to hell. Then go to Alasum. Boom, 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 boom. And then got all destroyed. What's the point? The point is, I wish really each one of you here that take advantage of this program. Somebody give you the advice, somebody give you the training, somebody try to promote you, somebody try to protect you and give you advice. In my time, and there is also another miss, okay, I, I, I'm not going to cry in front of you here, but the fact is, if you don't come from a business family, then you don't have that support. So if you come from a business family, at least they will help you out. But if you don't come from a business family, that means your background and your history do not match the business. So you're going to lose. So that's why I wish anybody who is here, he take advantage of this. Take advantage of these seminars. Take advantage of these examples. Take advantage of all these things are available to you now. Just, just from an advice, somebody tell you, hey, don't do it this way, do it that way. Even if you don't listen to them, it's okay. At least somebody gave you that advice. If you go too far off on the wrong direction, then you will retreat and you said, oh my God, you know, somebody told me I'm in the wrong direction. So please, 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 take note of this advice. Write them down, think about them, try and try. There is somebody who wants to help you. Any other questions? Yes, sir. If you have business plans, uh, business plan already with the, for uh, new projects, do you advise this project, if you like, uh, <coughs> make my projects among some uh, competitors in the same business? Uh, because you still I don't have brand name, still I'm not famous. Or do you think is uh, prefer to my make my project? out of competitors for new days. But still, I don't have a good brand name with our customers. 
Well, let me see if I could read you right. Before you started your business plan, you know, are you going to get into the water business? 